class 11th chemistry unit 7 equilibrium and in this video we will discuss about equilibrium in chemical processes we have discussed that reversible chemical reactions occur both in forward and backward directions that is forward and reverse direction when the rates of forward and reverse reactions become equal the concentrations of the reactants and products remain constant and this is the stage of chemical equilibrium this equilibrium is dynamic in nature now what is the meaning of this dynamic it is both opposite reactions are continuously going on without changing in the composition mixture if we consider a general case of a reversible reaction A plus B converting into C plus D. With the passage of time, there is formation of the products C and D and the depletion of the reactants A and B. It means initially concentration of reactants A and B are more and as the reaction passes, concentration of C and D increases and concentration of A and B decreases. This leads to a decrease in the rate of forward reaction and an increase in the rate of the reverse reaction. Actually, rate depends on the concentration. As initially concentration of reactants are more and it is decreases with the time passage, that's why there is a decrease in rate of forward reaction and concentration of products are increases. That's why there is an increase in the rate of reverse reaction. Eventually, the two reactions occur at the same rate and the system reaches <coughs> a state of equilibrium. You can see from this diagram, this is concentration and this is time. Initially, concentration of A or B, that is reactants, is maximum. As the time passes, their concentration decreases. Clear? And initially, concentration of C or D, that is products, is minimum or zero. As the time passes, their concentration increases. And after certain time, when concentration of both that is reactants and products reach to the constant value again remember concentration of reactants and products are not equal concentration of reactants and products become constant at the state of equilibrium okay you can see there is no change in the concentration of reactants and products similarly the reaction can reach the state of equilibrium even if we start with only c and d that is if we start from C and D, that is products. That is no A and B being present initially as the equilibrium can be reached from either direction. This can also be understand the dynamic nature of chemical equilibrium. We will consider the one reaction synthesis of ammonia by Haber's process. And in this Haber's process, ammonia is formed from H2 and N2 in the presence of catalyst at moderate temperature and high pressure and the reaction can be represented like this N2 plus 3H2 converting into 2NH3. Initially concentrations of H2 and N2 decrease and date of NH3 increases. After a certain time the composition of the mixture remains the same even though some of the reactants are still present it means equilibrium has reached this constancy in composition indicates that the reaction has reached equilibrium and at equilibrium h2 and 2 and nh3 present this can be represented from this diagram this is molar concentration this is time initially the concentration of dihydrogen and dinitrogen is maximum. As the time passes, their concentration is decreases. See, this is the decrease in concentration of dihydrogen and this is the decrease of concentration of dinitrogen. 
initially the concentration of ammonia is zero as the time passes its concentration is increases okay and after certain time their concentration of reactants as well as products become constant this straight line represent that concentration of these species become constant and this represent the state of equilibrium okay and at the equilibrium h2 n2 and ns3 all these three species are present now same reaction is carried out in same condition of temperature and pressure using d2 deuterium what is this deuterium this is the isotope of hydrogen okay and we are using d2 in place of h2 in the same reaction that is reaction is n2 plus 3 d2 converting into 2 and d3 <coughs> the reaction mixture starting either with h2 or d2 reach equilibrium with the same composition <coughs> except that d2 and nd3 are present instead of h2 and nh3 in this case at equilibrium okay after equilibrium is attained these two mixtures one mixture contain this composition n2 h2 and nh3 and another mixture contain this composition d2 n2 and nd3 now these are mixed together and left for a while to achieve new equilibrium okay and after reaching the new equilibrium if this composition is analyzed then we will observe that at that equilibrium nh3 nh2 d nh d2 and d3 along with the h2 hd and d2 all these species are present the presence of these species indicates that equilibrium is a dynamic in nature clear now equilibrium can be attained from both sides we have discussed that if we started from n and n2 and h2 we will get the nh3 this can also be attained if we start from decomposition of ammonia that is if we start from ammonia then again we reach to the same equilibrium and either we will take n2 and h2 will get this composition mixture at the equilibrium if we start from nh3 again we will get this composition mixture at the equilibrium also take the one more example to understand that equilibrium can be attained from both sides h2 plus i2 converting into hi if we start with equal initial concentration of h2 and i2 the reaction proceeds in the forward direction and the concentration of h2 and i2 decreases while that of hi increases until all these becomes constant at equilibrium just see this diagram this is concentration and we are taking this is time okay and first this from this to this this represent the forward reaction that is h2 plus i2 converting into 2 hi initially concentration of h2 and i2 is maximum and as the time passes its concentration is decreases and initially concentration of hi is minimum as the time passes its concentration is increases and at this condition the concentration becomes constant that is state of equilibrium is reached okay now we can also start with hi alone and make the reaction to proceed in the reverse direction the concentration of hi will decrease and the concentration of h2 and i2 will increase until they all become constant when equilibrium is reached see this from you are starting from hi okay its concentration initially maximum as the time passes this is decreases concentration of h2 and i2 is minimum and as the time passes concentration is increases and after certain time again see their concentration becomes constant that is state of equilibrium has reached so we can say equilibrium can be attained from both sides okay thank you subscribe my channel to get the new videos from this chapter